This is WWE The Big Show. KC the most, he is your host. You better listen, you might learn something. What's up, this is your boy KC. Raw is three hours. You expect us to sit through half of a roster for three hours? You know what drives my gears, man. What the hell, Pokemon? This Pokemon Go app that everybody is into is making people lose their minds, making people stupid. As I said before, I am a big guy. And it's not funny having your ass sucked into a chair like a vacuum. It's that time of the week again. Time for another top 10. Anime Otakus, it's that time again. Video game portion of my show, Jarek. This guy is a straight up Kano clone. He has all of Kano's moves, Dragon Ball debunked. People who pretend to be nice. That in front of people, they're smiling it up. Hello, how you doing? Blah, blah, blah. The wrestling match of the week. The game of the week, is it worth it? The anime of the week it's time to talk about some more Dragon Ball Super like comment and subscribe what's up it's your boy KC how y'all doing welcome to my new let's play a Metroid Zero Mission if you guys didn't see me play the Metroid Fusion series you can check it out on my channel I'll leave a link in the description but we're moving on to a new game this is the original Metroid game from 1986 that was remade from the ground up. The graphics have been overhauled. The music has been revamped. They've added elements from the other Metroid games that were not in the original ones. And they put it in this game. Such as being able to climb walls. Hang off ledges. And we will see a lot of the things later on in the game. Unlike Metroid Fusion, there are no navigational rooms. So, we can just free roam. That's the good thing about the... The Metroid games besides Fusion in a game like this we got the morph ball here and yes to let y'all know this is live commentary if you can't hear me pushing the buttons here this is live um the thing is we have Chozo statues in this game that tell you where you can go but you don't have to go that way you can go wherever you want as long as you have the resources to get in you have to have a power up to do so. Like if you, you can't go through red doors without the missiles. You can't go through green doors without the super missiles. You can't go through orange doors without power bombs. But for the most part, you can go anywhere you want. The Chozo statues, if you're familiar with the Metroid series, they do two different things. They refill your energy and your resources and they show you where you can go next. As you can see, the jumping in this game is a lot different from Metroid Fusion and even Super Metroid. Like, the jumping is a lot faster in this game. And I have to tell y'all, I had to practice. When I first played this game, when it came out, I had to practice. Especially when it came to wall jumping, because wall jumping, for some reason in this game, is very difficult to pull off. And bomb jumping, forget about it. Now, the one thing I don't understand is, and even in the original Metroid, your beam doesn't go all the way across the screen. You see that? They felt the need to make it a power up in those games, and I'm like, why? Every other Metroid game you can shoot across the screen. I get it, it was the first of its kind, and we just picked up the long beam there, so now we can shoot across the screen as we should be able to, in every game, shoot through these blocks. But I just, I'm like, it made no sense to make that a power up to me. So let's make our way up. Another mechanic that they added in this game that was not in the original is the ability to aim up and down. That was something introduced in Super Metroid and Metroid Fusion. You couldn't do that in the original game and I'm glad that they put that in. We can't go to this room yet, but in order to spawn the enemy to get out of here, we have to go into that room. Kind of like the security robot from Metroid Fusion, where you have to run to the other side to get it to even come out. Side hoppers. Just spam your shooting, and that's another good thing about it. You have another Chozo statue here. But that's another good thing about this game, is that... You shoot a lot faster than you do in Super Metroid, 
or Metroid Fusion, you shoot a lot faster. Which is cool, like it's more, more fast paced. So you have a little more control over the things that you shoot and I like that. And it comes in handy once you get the wave beam later. So let's shoot your way through here. Now we can't go in here yet because we don't have the missiles yet. We're on our way to getting that. Here's a save room here. Now the way the maps work in this game is you can't, you have to go to map rooms like in Super Metroid. You remember that where you have to go to the map room to update it? You have to do that in here as well. The convenient thing about going to the navigational room in Metroid Fusion is that they update the map for you. We just picked up our first missiles here. Hold down R, push the B button, and we're facing our first boss here. Centipede. Just pop it in the eye three times, and that'll be it there. That's all you have to do. Boom. And we get the charge beam real early in the game and it comes in handy we fill your missiles you only got five so it doesn't even really don't even need to worry about it but the charge beam if you hold it down and you do a flip into the enemy you could do a mini screw attack keep that in mind when you're traversing through this game because it could save your life now you can't you can't hold the charge beam when you're in the morph ball position. For some reason she can't hold it. And we need to haul ass because these things follow you through the level. They fly after you. You have to shoot shoot these sacks or whatever the heck. Cause if you don't, then these enemies they get really annoying if you don't take care of them real quickly. Head through here, get another missile tank. So now we're up to 10. And for this one, I know that in Metroid Fusion, I did all the item uh, the item collecting off screen. It's because I was having a lot of problems with the recording, the audio at the, la at the, uh, the end of that game. Like to the point to where I would have to play through the whole entire game again, just to get the footage that I needed. And Hopefully this time will be a lot better. We just got a missile tank back there, so now we're up to 15. And we got our first E-tank here, which is oh so good. So let's keep going this way. And I don't know how I fell in there, but you don't want to fall in there because it will hurt you, as you can see. Here is our first map station. And you see how it fills out the map so you know where you're going now. You're going to have to go through this. Unless you know the game by heart like I do. And a lot of other gamers that have uh, the speedrunners and stuff. They don't need to use that. But for a real authentic let's play I will be using it. There's another save room there. I don't need that. Make your way up here. On to a next upgrade, which is the bombs. And anybody who knows about Metroid, the bombs are very important when you need to get through small, small rooms like this. And it could also help us get different items, as you can see here. Another missile tank, which is always good. Now, bomb jumping in this game, good lord. I mean, I told you about the jumping, but bomb jumping is damn near impossible. I can't do it in this game. In order to get out of this room, you need to bomb that and get these enemies here. You need to kill them. Now, if too many of them jump on you, they will drain your energy, and you don't want that. Let's get out of here. Now we need to head back to where we fought the centipede monster. We need to go back to that room. Because now that we have the bombs, we can get through the other side. Don't 
don't go down there yet because we're not ready to go down there even though you could bomb that I'm not gonna do that just yet just make your way back now we can bomb here and we can get that you have to be tricky with this now there's two ways to get it you can just do like I'm doing here And freeing just roll in there or you can just wait until you get the power grip but we got it anyways though I'm gonna call it a video here like comment and subscribe I'll check you out later peace